Hey, it's Anthony, and I'm here today to give you three tips on managing your Google Meet sessions. I've heard from some teachers that they were concerned about kids entering a Google Meet room or um, early or staying in the Google Meet room after the teacher has left and therefore being um, unmonitored. And also, um, I've heard bit, uh, from here and there, teachers saying that kids are able to mute each other or kick each other off. They're not supposed to be able to do that. So if you are experiencing that, please let me know, because um, we should put in a ticket with Google to get that sorted out. Um, but if you follow these three tips, three tips, you should be all set. You should have a little bit more control over your Google meetings. So the first tip is don't give out the code until the very last minute. So if you have a scheduled time with your class to meet on Google Meet, set the time, post in Google Classroom, say, hey, we're going to have a Google Meet session at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Um, sign into Google Classroom at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, and I will post the code then. So that way you are uh, not handing out the code in advance because once the code is out there, then the kids can join, uh, anybody can join the meeting uh, if they have the code, uh, even before the scheduled start time. So wait till the last minute to post the Google code. The second tip that I have for you is to make sure that you set a nickname. So the way that you set a nickname, I'm going to show you how to do that right here on the Google Meet page, is um, you set it here on meet.google.com or from the waffle um, from the grid. You can um, select Google Meet there and you're brought to this Google Meet dashboard. You're going to click on join or start a meeting and we're going to name it right now. So I'm going to name mine Mr. Amatrano. I'm going to hit continue and it's gonna start a meeting right away, okay? Um, and so basically, this is what you're gonna do before, because you're not gonna have a class code to post in Google Classroom earlier. This is the process that you're gonna do. You're going to, um, you're going to, you have to do this first, and then uh, you can post the code in there. So I made a nickname, Mr. Amatrano, nobody else is in here, and I'm gonna join now, okay? So I click join now. And by doing that, it allows you, uh, it allows the Google Meet to be deleted after you leave. So um, that kids aren't going to rejoin after the Google Meet is done. So now here is where you're going to get the information. I'm going to click copy joining info, and then I'm going to go into Google Classroom and post the joining information there right at the very last minute before the meeting is going to start. And it's super easy. It's like two bits of, of line uh, of text that you post in Google Classroom. Kids all get it. They get in. No sweat. Um, and so that that's you're not going to add people. Um, you're just going to copy the joining information. And as you see here, it's got like the code that you would, are used to seeing when you normally uh, set up a Google Meet. OK, so that is um, that's tip number two. Tip number three is uh, first in, last out. So I'm going to close this. I don't need that right now. First in, last out. So what that means is you're going to be the uh, last person uh, out. You're going to be the first person in the meeting. So you're setting up the meeting just like we just talked about. And then you're going to make sure that all the kids are logged out before you leave. So what you're going to do to be able to make sure that that happens is one, just announce, OK, we're done with the session. Everybody make sure you sign off. And then you're not going to sign off. You're going to wait. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll click on the people tab. You'll see the list of kids over here on the left hand side. Next to each of their names is going to be a little drop down arrow. And there's going to be like a little do not enter sign next uh, underneath their name. Click the do not enter sign. That's going to kick them out of the meeting if they don't leave on their own. Um, or if it's taken too long, you don't want to wait around. So just kick them out, kick them out, kick them out, kick them out until you're the only person left in there. Once you know that you're the only person left in the meeting, you're going to hit end meeting here. OK, and the reason why you're going to do that is because then Google is going to know that the meeting's over and it's going to delete the meeting. So even if the kid has the meeting code, then they're not going to be able to rejoin the meeting. OK, so and just to review, there's three tips to that. First tip is don't give out the code until the very last minute. Second tip is um, make sure that you nickname the meeting. Uh, like I showed you, going to the waffle or to meet.google.com and giving it a nickname. And three, you're going to make sure that you're the first one in the meeting and the last one out of the meeting. And that's going to give you a little bit more control over uh, Google Meet. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, and please let me know if I can be of further assistance. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.